Uh, welcome back. And as we continue to cover the mixed reactions between what happened, the sad and threatening events that took place yesterday and the day before yesterday, of course, Egyptians are have mixed reactions between either to commemorate and rejoice in happiness. Uh, three years of uh, a very graceful revolution, which was the first step, uh, the January 25th revolution, towards uh, justice, freedom, and equality, and everything, and all those slogans, and the threats of terrorism and revenge of a Muslim Brotherhood organization who were kicked out and removed by the uh, brave army armed forces and uh, the backup and support of the Egyptian citizens. And uh, we're very delighted to have with us Dr. Hussein Shuraiba, the economic analyst, is going to talk to us about the implications of uh, uh, what happened yesterday and also what's uh, the expectations uh, that or the, uh, the how, how Egyptians are expecting things to turn out after a referendum and after uh, rejoicing and commemorating the revolution. I mean, uh, mixed uh, to two different situations. Good morning, Dr. Shuraib. Good morning. Good morning, sir. And Good of morning. course, as an economic expert, my first question to you is how <coughs> these terrorist acts and these terrorist attacks that have been taking place over the past period, how is this affecting development here in Egypt and the economic state as a whole? Well, let's agree on one thing. Uh, we want to thank all Egyptians for the 25th of January. Why? Because it uh, pushed out um, uh, a new uh, uh, people with a new idea, a new ethics, stolen by some other people who have no clue about <coughs> running a country like Egypt. Uh, the economy of Egypt is like any other economy worldwide, uh, can be affected immediately with anything. Uh, terrorists doesn't have time or location. So it can be in the United States, in Europe, in Asia, as well as in Egypt. So uh, people are worldwide are used to watch the, these actions of violent people. Mm -hmm. And um, I will be uh, issuing another name for the Muslim brothers, because Islam doesn't uh, uh, act for bad manners. Uh, I will call them the brotherhood only. Mm. It's much better because Islam is not their aim. Uh, the economy of Egypt, um, the recent uh, uh, time with Dr. Biblawi and the other, his crew members, is developing very good. And it's much better than Morsi times, thousand times. But it's going to be affected with these tiny uh, explosions. These tiny explosions, believe it or not, they are very tiny. If you compare this to 9-11, if you compare this, to what is been happened in uh, uh, Japan, what was happened in uh, Malaysia, what was happened in even uh, in UK and other countries. But I would like to say that our economy is going on the right track because you had the first step of a better economy, which is the constitution. The constitution of Egypt is one of the great steps which is really done recently. Mm -hmm. And it's done by uh, the people of Egypt, by very selective people of the community, of the 50 community who have done this. Supported also by whom? By our recent president, which I see in him the manner of the president of Egypt. Uh, it's not like the other president who was acting like a leader of a group. And uh, uh, I would urge the Egyptian people to act like uh, our recent president. How is to go to their work, pay their maximum attention to their work, do the best for Egypt, because what they are doing, they are really supporting 
economy of Egypt. When you go for agriculture and you're a farmer and you farm your land and do it in a proper way, you are supporting the economy of Egypt. When you go for your factory, you are doing the best for this. But today, I don't want, I want them to come, go to Tahrir Square, no problem at all. It is being guarded by the, the police department as well as the army. And plus, the important guard, guardians for this is the people themselves. And the people here in Egypt, by their nature, they are very friendly, very positive for Egypt. Whether you see an old man or an old lady, whether you see a young generation, whether men or women, all of them, they are in one coop looking for the best of their future. So the old people are looking for the best of their future of the future generations. Mm -hmm. And the new one are looking better for their own personal future. So both parties are looking for the better of Egypt. Um, we, I hope um, within the coming days uh, there will be lots of great steps from the government, mm -hmm. such as having um, the election, presidential election, which is, gives more stability, and then the parliament. Right. If you could allow me, uh, Dr. Shuraiba, we have an urgent uh, uh, phone online now. Uh, Brigadier uh, Hatem Fathi, Director, International Relations Ministry uh, uh, of uh, the, the International Relations Department, Ministry of Interior. Brigadier Fathi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, first of all, the usual question, how would you assess the situation today, January 25th, on the streets of Egypt? as a spokesperson for the Ministry of Interior and uh, after what happened yesterday, the sad events. How would you describe the situation today? Are there lots of people coming, flocking to the streets to rejoice? Is there enough state security personnel and officials on the streets to secure the citizens? Uh, well, uh, once more, I'd like to say that uh, no surprises. We have declared uh, maybe one month earlier that we suspect an escalation of uh, the terrifying to the people uh, by uh, the Muslim Brotherhood and their supporters and affiliate who whatever the names are, uh, what happened yesterday was a, a real desperate uh, trial from them to stop the people from uh, uh, taking to the streets and to the, the squares all over the, the governed race because they sent anyone else in Egypt that uh, the Egyptians won't celebrate uh, the, the anniversary of 25th uh, of January in a new sense, in a new that is supporting the government, supporting the roadmap, creating the new constitution, asking for uh, uh, forwarding on the roadmap to the presidential election. Uh, so they're trying to hinder the map as the Prime Minister yesterday announced. Yet, I believe, as I see, that uh, whenever we have an explosion, something extraordinary happens, that the people uh, gather around uh, the place of the explosion and of the demonstrating, supporting the police, showing their uh, uh, desire that they will not let go uh, what has been achieved. Uh, and Uh, right, Brigadier uh, Fathi? Brigadier yes. Hadim Fathi, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Right. Well, what's the rest of your question, please? Mm -hmm. And uh, could you describe uh, the intensity of the security measures that are taken today? I mean, especially because, I mean, uh, for example, Tahrir Square has been closed off to traffic. Um, expected protests or demonstrations are also expected to take place around the Tahadeya Palace and in other areas around the country. Um, are, is security imposed in an intense way so that citizens could feel safe? Well, uh, maybe three days ago, uh, all the governorates have designated certain squares and uh, uh, places for the celebration for the people who want to celebrate in those governorates. Maybe Cairo have uh, more than place in Tahrir Square and uh, 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 the perimeter of uh, the Hadiyah Palace. 
uh, in Giza, there is Mustafa Mahmoud, where uh, in other places and other governorates, uh, there are certain uh, spaces designated by the governorates. All those have been secured by uh, the police, uh, inspected by uh, the, the explosive uh, squad. Uh, the, the, the police dogs, there are other electronic sniffers, the helicopters of the armed forces uh, flying over those places watching. Then uh, the waterway and the mine is secured by uh, the water police. So all uh, the entrances and exits uh, are uh, secured. We have lifted all uh, parked cars. Uh, we have inspected all the trash cans and all the left behind parcels. Uh, we have deployed a uh, large number of secret services of the police, uh, investigation officers, and plain clothes. So I would like to um, assure the people at the Minister of Interior City of today that uh, the police is there, the police is watching. What we see in the streets of targeting the police installations is uh, uh, maybe uh, the last trial for those groups to uh, say that uh, they can do something. But uh, I think the Egyptian people uh, have uh, proven uh, their desire to uh, fail them and to continue with the roadmap. Maybe I'd like to give you a, a, a short briefing about uh, this morning incidents. Um, at 7 a.m. this morning, a limited explosion took place in the perimeter of the police non-commissioned officers institute in Ain uh, oh, The institute was empty. Uh, only the normal security forces of the institute was there. The explosion occurred due to improvised explosive device dropped under the walls of the institute. Uh, one soldier uh, of the guard slightly injured. Uh, two box cars partially destroyed. The police detected another device under one of the parked cars and managed to use it. And it's not true, I'd like to confirm it's not true that the police found other devices in other places. Um, uh,